Good day, pirates in a pileup with a princess. I'm on silent and we're back with more Final Fantasy IX. This has got to be the worst situation we've ever been in. Well, Cinna, uh, there's about 40 more hours to go in this game, and uh, no. This is definitely not the worst situation you've ever been in. It gets worse. So, Zanero kind of fills us in on where we've left off the last episode. When we last left, the Tonsilus Theater slash Thief group uh, managed to abscond with the princess, but they were shot down and they've crash landed here in the evil forest. Zidane jumped clear. Vivi and Garnet uh, were thrown clear of the crash, but in doing so, were also being chased by something evil and unseen in the evil forest. So now, Zidane is out looking for them. And we found him. Because here's Vivi, and she's in trouble. Well, who could that be? She's in... Oh, yeah, okay. Nothing to add. And there's Steiner. The whole ga the whole band is back together. Release the princess at once. I'm trying to find a good Steiner voice. And I just can't find it. I'm trying to think like, you know, Nigel Bruce's Dr. Watson-ish. But I'm just mumbler. So, oh, release the princess. You know, something like that. Maybe an English accent to go with it. Anyway. While this might seem like the first boss fight of the uh, game, it's actually just another standard scripted fight in uh, Final Fantasy IX. Just one of those that you gotta do as part of the story. A story fight. That seems like a better. Oh, and we're into uh, trance. Uh... In other games, it's Limit Break, and I forget what else it is referred to as in some of the other Final Fantasy games. But the sort of generic is Limit Break. And uh, Trance is induced by a surge of emotion. Generally, Trance being induced by a surge of emotion is how characters get their Trance bars activated the first time. And then after that, it's just as they take damage. It slowly over time builds up their trance meter. But trance allows them to unlock uh, new abilities. Like in the case of uh, Zidane here, he has uh, the Dine abilities. In this case, for 10 MP, he does 272 damage, whereas Steiner's only doing 50. Now, the trick with this fight is that the prison cage, as it is called, is also absorbing. Um, Garnet's um, HP. So he can do it twice without issue, but. Oh, well, that was quick. I was going to say he can do it twice without a problem, and then you have to heal her. But uh, we killed him on our second turn. Or we um, drained it of XP, but he seems to have run off with the princess. I didn't remember that. Where did they go? Well, um, up, obviously. Oh, poor Vivi. He sounds, she's gone. So defeated. I was too scared to cast any spells. That monster's probably going to eat her. Actually, the monster did have a mouth. I was going to say, the monster didn't have a mouth. Yes, it did, actually. How could I let this happen? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't worry. She's not dead yet. That monster was only a minion. He's probably going to take her to his master. I'm trying to remember, is that the case? Yeah, it must have been, because there's a boss fight before we leave the forest. So, I did say I have played about two and a half discs worth of Final Fantasy, just... So I do remember some moments in the game. Not all of them, just the ones that seem to trouble me the most, or I struggle with the most, although this was a reasonably easy section of the game. The Ice Cavern was a pain in the ass. That's probably not until next week. Or maybe the week after, we'll see what we can find once we uh, get out of the evil forest. We must find her at once. Well. The prison cage sure has an appetite it's worked up. Because now it's got Vivi. Of course. Here. We don't have the advantage of trance, but we do have, as a substitute, Vivi catching, uh, casting fire. 
Let's see if we can get a steal in. Now, this is going to tell us what Vivi's HP is. Uh, so, drop 27, so we have to be careful. Oh, stole a broadsword. Well, that'll be uh, quite handy for... Uh, I'd imagine that's one of Steiner's. Now, we know this thing has, at the most, uh, 540 XP. But the trick is, at the same time, we have to be very careful. We have to stagger... The various... Um, various attacks. Because... We have to make sure that we don't have them both... You know, queued up and waiting to uh, attack in case we actually need to heal Vivi. Because we don't have any abilities yet to be able to see how much HP that the uh, monsters have. That was a. F oh! The things disappeared. The, my, men my HUDs disappeared? Oh, but that's because we just. Either it took a long time for it to, like, load up that animation and we were sitting there waiting for it or uh, I guess it's a sort of semi-timed and scripted fight but uh, even though this isn't a proper boss fight well it doesn't have boss fight music but it's acting like a boss fight because boss fights you don't get XP or EXP I guess they call it in here you get AP which is ability points and we can explain that in a little bit you also get eye drops and 436 gil for our trouble which, if we had a shop, would be quite dandy. Phew. Th thanks. Are you alright? Well, uh... And, ha! <laughs> Zidane backflips to get out of the way of the poison gas. That makes sense. You guys are lucky. If it weren't for Zidane, you'd both be dead. Some of the monsters in this forest reproduce by planting seeds in other animals. And when the seeds sprout, it's hasta la vista. You become beef jerky. I don't remember that line from any of Arnold's movies. Um, am I going to die? No, you're going to be fine. Here, drink this. It'll remove all the seeds from your body. What interesting medicine. Ugh, yuck. Well, at least if it tastes bad, it must be... It must be good medicine. Meanwhile, Steiner is still working on his mission. Room behind you go. Princess is in grave danger. You intend to abandon her. You're in no condition. Don't worry about it, the prin uh, don't worry about the princess. The boss will think of something. Well done, Baku. So, meanwhile, Vivi is down for the count. And Steiner is not taking his medicine and is up and about, but barely. This medicine, it smells terrible, and the color, this is obviously poison. Huff, huff, heave, heave. I can't take it anymore. God help me. Oh, now he's, uh... Oh, not bad. That makes me... And I thought uh, Alexandria was supposed to have good food, and instead, if he thinks that medicine isn't terrible, it does make me question the quality of cooking that he is getting in Alexandria as the captain of the Knights of Pluto. Monsters born of the mist are crawling everywhere. So what? There's nothing we can't handle. Yeah, but what are we going to do about the wounded... We can take him with us. How are we going to carry all of them? Trust me, we go out now and we'll all get wasted. That's actually uh, Grand Theft Auto you're thinking of. Or, or drunk. Uh, this is just game over. My boys become before the princess, you know? It's too bad. Well, I mean, what was the... What was the end game of... Uh, I've asked this before, but what's the end game of kidnapping Princess Garnet? We're going to stay put till everyone recovers. You better not set one foot outside the ship. You got that? I can't believe you're abandoning her. You're nothing but a big coward. 
Uh, nothing else to say. If you don't agree with me, you're free to leave the band anytime. So we'll... Oh, I'm... So we've got an active time event. Oh, two active time events. So let's start with time to escape. We'll see what is happening. Ah, it's Steiner plotting his escape. Oh, now there is a treasure chest right there in front of him at the bottom of our screen. So we'll have to make sure to pay Steiner a visit to pick that up. Perhaps I can break out by ramming into the wall. Fire, fire, let me out. What happened to, what happened to ramming into the wall and said you're claiming fire? What's this? What an ugly doll. Princess Garnet, age 15. How dare they write the princess name on such a ragged doll. Besides, the princess is not 15, she's 16. Guys, don't even try making a joke about this. You're just going to get a visit from, uh, what's his name? Um, have a seat over there, the, um, to catch a predator guy. Was Chris Hansen, is that the guy's name? Oh, active time event, we've got. Girl who was, we've got, actually we've got more. It's the girl who was left behind. That was from the original set. They left Ruby behind? And what am I supposed to do now? Well, it looks like you're working the uh, bar now. And one more, my little baby, the third active time event. I think I remember what this one is. With Cinna, it should be here somewhere. Huh. Damn. Where is it? What happened to my Garnet doll? Man, how am I supposed to sleep now? Oh, Cinna. Poor little doll. The fire probably caught it. Oh, and there's Blank. I gave that black mage some medicine. He'll be alright. Why don't you go see him? I think he wants to thank you. What about her? Oh, our symbolist. Don't call it the evil forest for nothing. Indeed, you are right, Mr. Symbolist. Now we received a wrist. Let's briefly go over the equipping screen. Now everyone has... Five slots, you've got your weapon, you've got a uh, head, you've got wrist gear, you've got uh, chest armor, and you've got a, an accessory. So, different uh, different uh, weapons grant you different abilities and different stats. So for the dagger, while uh, Zidane has the dagger equipped, any AP or ability points that he earns allows him to learn flea he can use flea as long as he has the dagger on his person or and, and equipped but as soon as he gets 40 ap then that fills up the flea bar and he's learned flea so as soon as he changes weapons he has flea permanently and can learn a new ability now you can't learn all abilities for example he has the leather hat but he can only learn you know he can't learn fire because he's not a mage now, in Final Fantasy X, they kind of opened that up quite a bit. Similarly, you've got this wrist. Well, Flea Gill, he's learning. You've got Protect Girls with the Leather Shirt. You can also get a Silk Shirt, which he can learn Cure and Thunder from. But Well, he can't, but someone can. So that brings us to abilities. Now, notice how Dagger has an A and a red gem there. And you've got... The wrist here, which has the di an empty diamond slot in the S, Flea Gill. Because you've got A for active abilities. And, um, there we go, equip the, for support abilities. So up at the top there, you see 18 out of 18, those little gems there. So if I use three of my gems here, I can get, uh, I can activate Flea Gill. Which allows us to receive gill even when running from battle. If you use flea, you generally lose gill, unless you've got that equipped. 
That's the only two that Zidane is learning at the moment. So that is a quick rundown of equipping and um, and abilities. I'll probably handle most of that off the uh, off screen, so to speak. So I don't bog you down with equipping and whatnot, unless it's kind of relevant to what's happening in a particular uh, in a particular area of the game. Something that you need to know for a boss fight, for example, or to get through a particular area of the game. Anyway, Vivi is here thanking Zidane for helping him. Besides, it was just your black magic that saved the day. You know, you've got some major power for such a little guy. What's wrong? Are you peeved at me because I called you little? Hey, you're a great mage with great powers, alright? To hell with looks, it's what's inside that counts. I'm sorry, when that monster caught her, I couldn't do anything. Hey, don't worry about the princess. I'll get her back. I promise. Thank you, Mr. Zidane. This first time anyone's called him Mr. It's probably the tail. Jeez, he was pretty down. Maybe I shouldn't have made that promise. I don't even know if I'll be able to find her. Whoa, okay. I don't remember this scene. Oh, it's a flashback. We're, what, not even two hours into the game and we're getting flashbacks? Never felt so strange. Okay, okay, something, something balls dropping. Maybe fate brought us together. Was it fate that brought us close and now leaves me behind? We'll be coming back to Melodies of Life a few times over the course of the Let's Play. I can't stop thinking about her. What am I going to do? Part of me wants to be a dick and say forget it, but I'm also scared of there being a game over screen and having to go back through all of that just to get to here. She's cute, and she's in trouble. That's all that matters. I, I, what is that that matters, Zidane? There you are. Oh, it's blank. I was expecting well done, Baku. What are you up to this time? I'm going to take that knight and the black mage and find the princess. You're crazy. Man, you don't even know what's out there. Besides, there's no way the boss will allow it. Why do you always got to play hero? The boss is going to kill you. Well, what are you waiting for? Go talk to the boss. Now, the boss was up the stairs. And, uh, or not. Oh, wait, there's a... There's a chest there, though. A bronze gloves. I want to say gloves are one of Steiner's things, so... Oh, no, that's the wrong way. So we'll probably equip uh, Vivian Steiner with stuff before we uh, take on the boss fight. That'll be along the way. We've got, oh, there's another chest here. Just an ether. That's just an ether. We locked that old knight up in the instrument storage room. He fusses a little from time to time, but he hasn't been all that bad. Oh, I guess I'm not getting through there. I guess we gotta go talk to the boss. All right, we're going to... <laughs> ah, there's... A sneezing boss. Took you long enough. I fell asleep, darn it. So you're leaving, eh? Yeah, I promised Garnet I'd kidnap her. Ah ha ha, I didn't ask you why. Well, I can't blame you, though. She's damn beautiful. She's damned underage. Well done, Baku. I guess that's reason enough. I'm sure there's probably some pervy person in the comments that's going to be like, Well, the age of consent where I am is 16. When you get to be my age, which is probably older than most of the people that are probably watching. Once you get to my age, it's like, the cutoff line is, hell, not even 18. It's like, can you legally drink 
in most jurisdictions around the world, by which I mean America, where the drinking age is 21. That's sort of like, can you drink in America? I think America has the oldest drinking age, in, or goddamn near the oldest drinking age in the world at 21. You can get lung cancer, you can get shot for your country, and you can vote at 18, but uh, you want to have a drink to deal with all that? Yeah, good luck. Well, I hope you're ready, because I'm going to bust you up for breaking the rules. Okay, get your butt over to the cargo room. We got more room there. Alright, now I see. Chest there, so we got a potion for that. Now, which one's the cargo room? Okay, I guess this is the cargo room. I ain't holding back. Oh, we are actually gonna. We are actually going to have a fight. I don't remember this. I thought it was just like simply a matter of like. Yeah, I, well, nothing really. I wasn't sure what the hell we were going to get ourselves into here, but apparently you are getting yourselves into a Donnybrook. Although, um, well done, Baku fell over. So it's, it's an odd mechanic just to have a uh, combatant fall over. Well, then again, maybe, you know, it's not a... It's not a bad hit, but it's not a great... It's not one of those ones you want to take too many times, especially since he's likely to land a critical just when you don't want him to. Well, never mind. Well done, Baku. The F1 memes are real in this video. I think uh, Reddit's R Formula 1 ended up naming Well Done, Baku as the top F1 meme of the... Uh... Oh, he... Uh... With the uh, tripping back elbow there. A time honored wrestling move. I think, um. The, uh, what was his, uh. I'm trying to remember the name. Oh, I need to grab a potion for that one. I'm trying to think, uh. Who is the, um. Who is the Japanese wrestler that. There's some. There's, like, some famous Japanese wrestler did, like, the handspring back elbow, you know? Like, women in WWE were using it during the, um, height of the, uh... Well, I was gonna say the height of the... The height of the trough, the absolute bottom of the trough of women's wrestling in WWE. Where, um, if you listen to OSW Review and they make a good point, it's, like, one, one of the... I think it was one of their, uh... ECW reviews in one of the Japanese matches and one of them was using the um, handspring back elbow and he's like well the problem is, is WWE's turned that into a women's wrestling move so you can't take it seriously you know 20 years ago somebody used to get us a serious offensive move instead like you know 5-10 years ago the WWE was just using it exclusively for the women anyway we've uh, won the fight I think he was supposed to punch Zidane in the stomach. Instead, he punched the air. Yeah, no, he definitely punched the air there. He pulled his punches till that last one. So now we can go talk to the knight. Surprised you beat him. You're a lot tougher than you look. Well, with pretty boy hair like that, I can understand that sentiment. And meanwhile, Adalbert Steiner, I think that's his name, Adalbert, is, uh, anyway, he's, uh, just itching and ready to go. I'm just overwhelmed with concern for the princess. If only you rogues hadn't kidnapped her. This is all your fault. If anything should happen to the princess, I will have your head... I'm going to go look for her now. I'll let you come with me if you promise to be good. <laughs> Rusty, I'm Adalbert Steiner, Captain of the Knights of Pluto, and I will never work with you conniving thieves. Captain, I figured you were a private with that cheap, rusty armor. Look, is this nothing to do with Tantalus? It's something I decided to do with my own. I just want to save Garnet. You better not be lying, because if you are, I won't hesitate to kill you. 
And he's do- not doing a very good job of killing anything else, so I don't rate his chances of killing Zidane in single combat. It may be difficult with just the two of us. We should seek Master Vivi's help as well. Why are you calling him Master? You fool, that black mage has unimaginable powers. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get him involved, but alas, it can't be helped. We need Master Vivi's powers to rescue the princess. All right, let's go talk to Vivi. Well, we will. We just have to uh, grab this. Uh, grab this chest here now. Is I don't want to spoil what happens from here, but I mean, granted, this is like you know, over fifteen-year-old game. So at this point. If you've wanted to play it, it's on, I was going to say, everything but Xbox consoles. So, if you wanted to play it, uh, I heard you beat the boss. You sure are something. I don't know why the boss was laughing afterwards. Maybe you hit him too hard. Concussions are a serious thing, and if you think you have one, you should go see a doctor. Well, if it, Vivi, we're ready to look for the princess. That's great. Be careful, okay? Actually, we want you to come with us, too. I can't do anything. Hardly, Master Vivi. Your magic was highly effective against that monster. In all honesty, I hold your power in greater esteem than I do the scoundrels. I couldn't... He's... Just gonna power through some of this dialogue. For the sake of Princess Garden and all of Alexandria, I humbly request your assistance. Come on, you're a black mage for crying out loud. Show us what you've got. I guess that was, uh... Enough to convince him to come along. But, uh, Master Vivi. It's about your black magic. I wish to try an experiment. Oh, I do. I was wondering if... Whisper, whisper, whisper. Magic sword. Oh, that gives away the secret. Well, I guess you don't want the, um... You don't want the command just magically showing up in the, um... In the next time you're in combat... But uh, when Steiner and Vivi are together in the party, in what you can do is you can unlock you've unlocked uh, Steiner's uh, sword magic abilities, which basically allows you to hit anyone with magic that Vivi already has. So um, can't sit around knowing a girl's in trouble it goes against my nature. Well, if she's Cute, I suppose, right, Zidane? Whatever, you're full of crap. Oh, I get it. You're jealous that I'm gonna get me a sweetie pie at C. C. She's not even my type. I came down here to give you this. You're always thinking about me. But I won't need a love potion to reel this one in. Why don't you get your mind off girls for a second? This is the medicine I gave to that black mage in the night. It's sort of like a seed remover. So why am I always helping you? Oh yeah, and here's a little tip from the boss. Don't forget to set your abilities. Leaving the band is your business, but you better keep training. Learning uh, more abilities is going to make you even stronger. Well done, Baku. I mean, good luck, Baku. Hey, Blank, how do you set the abilities again? Oh, we just went over this, not, what, 15 minutes ago? Uh, open the menu, select ability, select the clip, it, and choose the abilities you want to set. Oh, good. I was worried we were about to get into a tutorial. And I was going to have to skip ahead. And we will go back and grab this chest here. And we've received the leather hat. So, that. Let's say, uh, come back whenever you need the rest. You'll always be welcome. Except for the part where Baku just elbowed you in the face. Rules are rules, so we've got to charge you since you're no longer time to sorry. Well, I think we got the money since... We've got uh, 11,000 gil. But we are going to stock up on... Some antidotes. A couple of phoenix down. And some eye drops. Since we've got the money, we'll get a few eye drops. Now, the eye drops are critical... Because they do have blinding effects on them going on, uh, going ahead. It's certainly in the boss fight, so you do need the eye drops. 
All right, one quick save later, and we're going to keep going with this episode. I was thinking we might just end it here at half hour, but you know what? Let's just get through the evil forest in this episode. There's another active time event, the orchestra in the forest. All right, let's really liven up this place. Yeah, let our music do the fighting against those monsters. How bad must your music be to scare off the monsters? Poor Trumpeter can't get a word in edgewise. And, uh, hey, not bad. Would you say well done, Baku? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stay on your toes. We'll be leaving soon. Somewhere out there, there is a Formula One fan who both appreciates and hates the fact that I keep doing well done, Baku. Oh, now we've got a random battle. Not something I've seen so far in Final Fantasy XV, and not something that they had in Final Fantasy XII, but the majority of Final Fantasy games had randomly occurring battles as you were going around. And we were talking about, ah, we won't, we'll save sword magic for somebody who's actually a little dangerous. But, um, well, uh, Vivi is a mage, so he does not have a high attack potential. His damage is not very high. That's why you have uh, Zidane and Steiner here for the uh, powerful uh, basic attacks. Let's just carry on. So yeah, that's... Um, so what happens with a random battle is as you're just wandering along, all of a sudden it'll go... and you get transitioned into a battle scene. I'm trying to remember. Oh, I wonder where this river goes. I don't think that ever actually really matters in the course of this game. I mean, I could be wrong. But we'll carry on through the evil forest. As we reach here with a new Moogle. Hmm, no sign of any monsters here. Okay, so this is a safe place. Generally, it won't tell you what's uh, a spring. Oh, we don't get a choice. We have to do the active time event. Do as I say, not as I do. Are you sure about this? Yeah, don't worry. Be out of here soon, too. Here, take this map. It's going to be a long trip back to Lindblom. All right, I'll see you later. I'm counting on you. And so... The Adventures of the Tauntles group carry on. Now, this spring, they're pointing it out, restores all your HP and MP. Now, those don't come around very often. And you've got, like, in the more recent games, I believe, like all your save points, or the more recent games that had save points anyway, you would activate your save point. Uh, I think I have to Mognet you. Yes, you do. All right, so we've got a letter from Kubo to Monty. Let's read the letter. I think Queen Braun is up to something, but I suspect Princess Garnet even more, Kupo. She might leave home soon, with a prince on a white horse. Maybe it's just my imagination. Hmm, Princess Garnet, didn't she just... Oh, never mind, Kupo. I just received a letter from Stiltskin. Let's read it together. From Stiltskin to Monty. I'm in a very cold place right now. It's really strange. It wasn't like this the last time I came here. But I guess this is why I travel, to encounter the unexpected. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here and before I get trapped in ice. A cold place. Monty thinks he knows where he is. Will we find out where that is soon, though? So we'll carry on. Heading towards... Wherever Princess Garnet is. I assume that's... Something villainous. Oh, I don't remember you. Maybe it's just... Me having trouble remembering things so many, many years later. Now... We... Uh, now, one, that's the start of the boss fight music. 
Now this I do remember, this big ugly thing. There she is. So this is the master. Princess, you stay out of this. Alexandra would be disgraced if a mere bandit should rescue the princess. You think you can handle them on your own? On second thought. On second thought, we have our first boss fight of the game. There's one thing I love about Final Fantasy boss fights is that it's they're more grindy than they are skill based. That's unfortunate, but that I that's supposed to. I suppose that tends to be the case with more R most RPGs, is like... You go up against something that... Oh, this probably isn't good. Let's, uh, hang on a second. Oh, yeah, see what was I saying about eye drops? Well... Vivi... Okay, stole eye drops. That's convenient. Alright, I'm gonna rely on Vivi and Steiner to... be damage dealers. Now, sword magic. The abilities that uh, the magic abilities that Vivi has can also be used by Steiner as part of his sword. That's Steiner's MP uh, that's being used. I also found uh, the silk shirt that we uh, were looking at earlier in the, when we were looking at how to equip stuff. Also allows Vivi to get thunder. But we're going to use uh, fire here on the plant brain. Meanwhile, we're going to see if we can't steal anything else from the plant brain before we go. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Excuse me. A right tentacle is going to thwap Steiner. Unfortunately, the um, oh, stole Iron Helm. That's probably good for Steiner. I'm busy talking and uh, just kind of letting the uh, active time battle meters just go haphazardly over on the right there. But it'd be nice to see how much damage is actually done to St uh, Steiner. But the um, what's the uh, there's a button in here that gets rid of the HUD. I just don't remember what it is. We're going to have to do. Let's eye drop Zidane because he's useless. Otherwise, it's stealing, and that's about the sum of what he can do. 81 damage to Zidane. I thought there was a button to get rid of the. Maybe that was just Final Fantasy VIII that had it, where there was a button to get rid of the HUD. Because the HUD is getting in the way and it is covering. Oh, we got it. That wasn't too bad. Oh, no, we didn't. Blank has showed up, and he's going to aid us in our effort. Oh, uh, Zidane's down. Okay. Going to use a Phoenix Pinion, which you're only able to you're only able to use them in battle. So I don't mind using those like nowish. Then again, maybe I should have used the Phoenix down because. You're able to do more than just, like, one he healing. Well, shit. I mean, you still have three people up, it's just Zidane's down. And now I'm using Blank as a damned healer, but... And I think Blank has the best physical attack, better physical attack than Zidane. Well, it doesn't matter, because Zidane's dead, he's not getting any AP for this fight. And Steiner, who ends up being the hero, the hero of Alexandria, is also the hero of the princess. Now, if you're KO'd at the end of the fight, you don't get any of the benefits, so... In this case, Vivian Steiner do get 5 AP for helping defeat the boss. Oh, and a phoenix down. Yeah, I could use one of those, thank you. Maybe you've defeated the first boss of the game. Certainly not the hardest boss of the game, even if you don't know what you're doing. Princess, get a hold of yourself. Oh, he's given her the stuff yet. Nobody likes the taste of it except Steiner, of course. Princess, please try to drink all of it. Is she going to be okay? Well, she might be, but, um... Not sure about the rest of you. We're going to be surrounded. I think you're already pretty close to it. What are you waiting for? I don't see Blank in a hurry to run. And now everyone's running for it. Now we just gotta hustle. Well, hustle-ish. As Zidane jumps his way down here. That's a dead something or other. It's bones of something or other. But I don't know if we ever find out what that is. And so I guess we'll end up in a one scripted fight along the way here. 
Now, I would hazard, since these things are plants, they would... Oh, Zidane's still dead. We should probably... I should probably have done something about that first. Uh, let's do a Phoenix down on Zidane now. And we'll let Vivi handle the rest. Now, it's... Yep, and that's the one thing I liked about uh, magic in this game. Oh, god damn it, really? <laughs> Poor Zidane's just down and out. So the nice thing about magic in this game is if you can actually just tell it to... Um, now these two leveled up and Zidane, poor Zidane missed out on leveling up because he got knocked the F out. Let's take care of that from this menu. And then we'll... Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think potions have a lesser... Yeah, hundred... Yeah, it's a lesser effect when they're in the field. If you use them in battle, you get 150, and we just saw Zidane get 100. Uh, so it's two-thirds as effective in the field as it is in battle. So that's one of the little neat little mechanics in Final Fantasy IX compared to some of the other Final Fantasy games. So meanwhile, now we're running for it. What are you doing? Stopping to, you know, smell the flowers. Almost, almost literally. Something's wrong. What? The entire forest is coming after us. Well, you did just kill the plant brain. What do you mean by that? I don't know if we ever find out. Now, if you listen to that, I was mentioning the change in the music between regular gameplay and cutscenes. And so... You have a slightly less electronic and slightly more uh, orchestral sounding music here for this scene here. Just the limitations of the PlayStation at the time. Oh, I don't remember that. I remember everything in the forest is turning to stone. And I remember Blank got turned to stone with the forest, but I thought that was just because he fell behind and got caught I didn't realize he was saving Zidane in order to uh, in order to uh, get uh, petrified with the rest of the forest now I do remember this Zidane using the forest in order to get through the thorns and out to the other side of the evil forest which is oh and here's one of your back of the box screenshots it actually is that was actually a back-of-the-box screenshot. Remember when video games came in... Con well, actually, most of them still do. But they came in, like, CD cases. This one came in a, like, a, a double-stack one. Because Final Fantasy IX for PlayStation 1 came with... Uh, what was it? It was four discs, yeah. Damn it, that idiot. Yes, that's the... Uh, I hope she gets well soon. That concludes the Evil Forest section of Disc 1. I do believe we come back to this at a later point in time where we make plans to come back here at a later point in time. I might be misremembering it. Now, I know we had plans to come back here at one point in time. This is all his fault. It's something to do with... Uh, oh, I was going to say, uh, because kidnapped princess... Yes, yes, we keep hearing the Steiner. Oh, Viffy jumping for joy. How cute. How did I survive? You brought me here? That's also a very small tent for four people. Didn't notice that? It's my sworn duty to protect you at any cost. What are you talking about? It's Vivi's magic and my dagger. Oh, Zidane trying to impress the girl with the size of his sword. I thank you both. That monkey deserves no praise. That is racist. Yes, I realize he has a monkey tail, but that is still... Racist, Steiner. None of this would have happened if you and your band hadn't abducted the princess. And how dare you claim that you have rescued her. When we get back to Alexandria, I will... I left the castle of my own will. What a coincidence, eh? She went to, we went to snatch her and she wanted to be snatched. Impossible. It's true. So what do you say, Rusty, friends? Come on, let's just enjoy this camping trip while it lasts. 
Camping, you imbecile. Surely even you must know something about the mist. Sounds like the name, the mist sounds like the name of an M. Night Shyamalan movie. And the vicious monsters it spawns, the abnormalities it stirs in the body and mind. So it's the happening, then. Princess, we must leave this dangerous place at once. You've got to be kidding me. She hasn't even fully recovered yet. Silence, who asked for your opinion? All right, tell me, how do you plan to get out of here? We're standing in a valley surrounded by tall cliffs, and last I heard, North Gate and South Gate were sealed off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, the princess can barely walk right now. You went through this, you should know. I think we should rest here for now. I will never follow you. State your sworn duties, Steiner. What else to protect the princess? Garnet till I... Whatever. It's Garnet. And so now Steiner is just now sticking around because Garnet's there. As long as he's a better guardsman than the rest of his... Uh... Besides Mist, what is up? Okay, apparently nothing. We're just going to uh, get the sleep music. Now Garnet is up and about next morning. And Port Forest got completely petrified. Now petrification in Final Fantasy basically turns you to stone. In some games when you get turned to stone, you can get completely knocked out of a fight and lose that spot in the fight. I think Final Fantasy X had it where if you're petrified, if you got hit by a physical attack after that, after you're petrified, it would knock you in that spot in the battle party out of that fight. It might have been some of the other ones as well, but... I do remember uh, that was the deal with petrified in at least one of the Final Fantasies. This one, it's just... You're not there until somebody uses soft on you and unpetrifies you. Or I guess some remedy or some other status removing ability or item. Also, let me know in the comments if you want me to like read everything verbatim. I mean, the important points I'm going to read, but I think I'm going to leave stuff on the screen long enough for you to read. So like, we'll come back for them. It's not really that important in the grand scheme of the story, so it's not that critical to read. But something like this. According to the map that Blank gave me, there's a cavern to the south of us. That's important, so I should probably read it. Maybe we can get above the mist through that cavern. Are you alright? Everything's gonna be fine, trust me. And there's something coming. It's a... It's Monty the Moogle! Look who made it out of the forest as well. Monty escaped petrification. I'm impressed, Kubu. First time I've seen anyone escape from the evil forest. Well, you managed to escape too, Monty. You all must be strong, Kupo. But don't get cocky, Kupo. Lots of stronger monsters ahead. Before you go out uh, to the world, Mogster will teach you a few things. Okay, Mogster... Is, uh... It's basically just like a quick tutorial thing with Mogster. It's not for... I mean, I know all this stuff because I've played it before, but if you're a first-time player, you may want to go through with this. So, uh, what are we going to learn in this lecture? How the help menu works, battles, abilities, trance, icons, save moogles. So, like, nothing particularly exciting in here, so we'll just skip this. Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. Mogster sure doesn't have a high opinion of himself. And I have a gift for you, Kupo. Take this flute. It's a Moogle flute. You can push uh, square when you're on the world map. Uh, it's not square. X. X on the uh, Steam controller and your Xbox controller. Sorry, I was thinking to just push square because that's what it is on a PlayStation controller. Instead, now you've got... Uh, the same equivalent place on, um, it's very friendly, Moogle. Who goes there? 
Your friend's already left, Coupeau. Oh, Steiner. Out on his feet. But uh, that will wrap up this episode of Final Fantasy IX. Uh, we don't need the tutorial. Next time we'll be on the open world of the Mist Continent. That's, uh, how do I, uh, in... Oh, there's the map, yep. Yeah. So we're heading there to the Ice Cavern. We started here in Alexandria. And here is the Evil Forest. So we go south, southwest. Although I think I might do a little, little exploration. Before we get to the Ice Cavern in the next episode. But that's not until the next episode of Final Fantasy IX. Thanks very much for joining me as we continue through old video games this time with Final Fantasy IX. We're going to be here a while with Final Fantasy, so uh, hopefully we'll have a little fun going down memory lane with a classic Japanese RPG. So like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, share on social media, follow on social media, uh, all that YouTube, comment down below, all that YouTubing jazz helps us out just a little bit. But uh, until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me, and we'll see you at the Ice Cavern uh, next time.